Hi guys, this is your Suraj and I'm back with another topic called wrapper classes. So what are these wrapper classes? Why do we use them? Why do we use them? Okay, so most of them have these uh, questions in their mind. So with this session, let me clear all your doubts. Let me give you some example of how to use wrapper, where to use wrapper, why do we use wrapper? Let's discuss about all these questions in our session. So before I start my topic, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know like whenever I make any new videos, upload them, uh, you get notifications on it. With that, you can gain knowledge, okay? Or whatever I have, I'm gonna share with you, <laughs> okay? All right, so what is a wrapper? A wrapper or container class is a class data structure or an abstract data type whose instance are a collection of other objects. Mostly you'll see this description when you find it in the Google. But by looking into these terminologies, most of them are confused. They don't understand what is a wrapper. Okay, so let me take some examples so you can clearly understand what is a wrapper. So to take an example, first talk about a string list of values. So I hope you know what is a list. If you don't know what is a list, in the description below, I have provided uh, my list training URL. Please go through it for the list understanding. So list of string. Uh, you know, a list means which is going to hold a group of values of similar data type, of similar data type or similar uh, object type. In my example, I have list of string values I'm going to store. So I'm using some, uh, you know, like four names. One is Priyanka Chopra. The other one is Deepika Parikon. Third one, haha, it's me. And the fourth one, Sunny Leon, most of them favorite heroine. So here, if you see, I have four different names of similar data type. All are string data type values. In the list, I'm storing only one data type value. I mean, multiple values into the list. Assume that I have a requirement which says like I want different data type values to store in a single variable. I have multiple data type values to store in a single data type. In such cases, I'm going with a wrapper class. So wrapper class is nothing but where you can store a different data type or different object values into a single variable. Let's take an example. So in my previous list, I was taking all the uh, some names, some different names, which are group of characters. So I need some more information on my favorite hero in Call Sanilian. More information means I want to know what is her age. You know, like I want to know whether she's married or not. What is her height? Blah, blah, blah. Some information I need. So if you see, I, if I want age, that's an integer value. If I want height, that's a decimal value. If I want to know whether she's married or not, it's a Boolean value. So when I want to store all these different data type values, I'm going with a wrapper class. So in my example, you see a name, Sunny Leon. What is the data type? It's a string data type, which means a group of characters. And then I need an integer to store her age. Don't look into that. Uh, age okay don't confirm because I don't know her age I'm using just figures some numbers and then whether she is married or not yes boolean value I need some boolean value whether to say yes no and I want to know her height then I need a decimal data type so if you see I need if I want to get the information of Sunny Leon I need different data type values and I want a string, I want an integer, I want a billion, I want a decimal, a different data type values. So when I want to store all these different data type values, 
or similar values also you can use the overall i mean to say is when you want to store a group of values into a single object then it's called as a wrapper class still confused i know few of them will still confuse okay in a simple words if i have to tell you a wrapper class is nothing but a class within a class technically if you see when you are writing one class into an another class is called as wrapper class still confused let's take one more example assume that i have one class i have one class this is a main class okay within that class if i am going to insert an another class that's called as wrapper class i have the main class in the main class if i am going to insert one more class that's called as wrapper class uh hope you are little bit understanding now what is a wrapper theoretically you might have got now what is a wrapper because this fellow is saying a class within a class or oh, yes we understood that then let's see into the let's get into the program and see you know like how we gonna write this program so for that let me take my favorite hero in name okay let me get into my browser here i go with my class hope you can see my uh, developer console uh, hope you can uh, see my class which named as training page so first thing uh, let me create a constructor you know what is mean by constructor right i don't have any video recordings to provide link on that maybe in future but now i don't have it there's a constructor is nothing but you know like whenever the class gets loaded by default the piece of code which is available in constructor it's going to execute okay so now i was telling a wrapper is nothing but a class within a class right i was telling a class within a class is called as wrapper so now oh why this file didn't save i use the same name so come on save yeah so now my class is ending at line number 9 so when i declare an another class here public class class name let me use my class name as favorite heroine uh oh is that a spelling mistake i don't know wrapper okay mm -mm -mm -mm. and now this is a class of which i'm going i want to store some different data type values so for that i say string i'm using a string data type which will hold my favorite heroine name and then i'm going to take an integer which is going to store an age and then i'm going to use boolean data type which says true or false uh, i want to know whether she's married or not that information also i want to store and next i have a decimal data type which says height if you see guys in in single class i have different data type values i have declared a different data type variables it's not only like you have to use primitive data types you can use s objects as well whatever you want to store you can store them in the wrapper so now let me create object of this wrapper so first let me initialize and mark it as get answered because i want to use it on my visual force page And let me create an object what is the syntax of creating an object it's an object name is equal to a new class name this is what the syntax of creating an object and now let me put values into these variables object name dot because when i say 
object I have access to this particular class. Now let me use this variable name select is equal to I like this name again object name dot and age I don't know the actual age but yeah rough age is married I know most of them are eager to know this but don't follow this particular uh, values if you want an exact answer go to Google whether she's married or not I don't know I say yes and then the height see guys now I have declared a variable I mean I declared and uh, initiated an object variable and storing all these values into a single variable I told you right see in a simple words a class within an another class is called as a wrapper so this is my wrapper so this class is holding different data type values and here I have only one object with different data type values into it let me print this on my VF page and check the output simply I have a simple VF page I'm just trying to print it on the VF page to see the output let me go to my page refresh the window see this is my wrapper which has one record and different data type values are stored in this you understood very simple program a variable which is holding a different data type values into it okay so now let me come back to my program let me come back to my class so this is a wrapper guys so sometimes you get a requirement like I now I want multiple hero in details not only one I'm not satisfied I want multiple hero in details so in such cases you go with a list of wrapper so far we talk about wrapper now I'm going to show you a list of wrapper that's a different program in case if you want to do practicals uh, take this program do practicals and now I'm going to start with list of wrappers so I'm going to say public a list of this wrapper I'm using because you know list means where it gonna hold a multiple values uh oh this is my list a list of wrapper I'm using so now one hero in name I'm gonna put it into my list this is one hero in name now if I want the other user details okay please guys there are spelling mistakes excuse me I'm gonna put some different age some different height I know that she is height Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay well, I'm going to give a different name to my object for uniqueness or else program will throw an error so if you see I have created a list of wrapper and storing an another record values also into the wrapper which means in a wrapper now I have sorry in a list I have two wrapper values let me print that on the UI and check the output refresh see now I have two values one is holding Sanilian values and the other list is holding the pickup Padukone values you understood now a wrapper is nothing but to store a different data type values into a single variable if you want a group of values like that then you can go with a list of wrapper this is how a list of wrapper will be written if you have any questions 
please feel uh, free to uh, put the comments or you can mail me on my email address is my mail id there yes let me show you these he go with my email id if you have any questions email to my email id or you can put the comments so i can answer you hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching see you soon with a different topic bye bye